Cornerstone Macro uh, reporting uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics lady, latest weekly household pulse survey indicates a significant downside risk for ju the July payrolls. Uh, Cornerstone and Nancy Lazar says that the loss in momentum is likely temporary, but to expect payroll gains to average roughly one million between now and year end. Ryan, she's expecting significant downside risk to the July payrolls. Do you think the jobs market uh, is, is going to be under pressure or could it grow more in 2021? Yeah, no, no, it's, it's not over. This, uh, I think the employment numbers are going to get better and better as we move along here. So we may, you know, for, for one month here, we may see some numbers that aren't great. But the bottom line is, look, you can't fight the amount of stimulus the trillions of dollars right now that are being basically printed globally, Maria. It's, you know, insanity. And I also think that's why you look at these tech stocks. I think they're grossly overvalued here. Um, and I think that that's because a lot of money now that's just available is pouring into them. So the fact that we're all putting those rosy colored sunglasses on uh, does concern me a little bit about big tech for the record. But no, I think the economy is going to keep improving. Yeah. You know, I've been calling over and over that I think that we're going to see an economic rebound, a lot of people have been betting against that, and clearly, you know, the numbers continually come in to surprise the economists and the analysts, which I love. Yeah. No, I, I just want to be clear what Nancy Lazar is saying, that we're going to see employment dropping, um, that uh, she's expecting employment to drop by roughly $5 million in July. And she says that's uh, reversing the June surge, uh, which, of course, the household survey pointed to. So she's talking about July, only the second full month of data, not much of a track record. But using that methodology, uh, June payrolls very well could be under pressure. So she's expecting uh, over the near term some significant risk there. But it sounds like you're pretty positive longer term, Ryan. Yeah, exactly. I ignore the short-term risk and look at the big picture, and the big picture is the economy is recovering. Okay. So even if we get some fits and starts here, absolutely.